Hi witches, Wave Raven over here. Today I want to come from a place within my heart. This is something that I experience in my own flesh and in my own skin. So I'm going to share with you today the things that I did in order to become successful in my court cases. Court is not a happy place. Court cases is not a happy moment. These are very, very stressful moments. Let me share with you what I did. Hopefully this will work for you as good as it worked for me. Let's do it. Hi witches, it's to be. This is White Raven over here. Today is Monday, so happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. If you're new here today, I welcome you. Again, my name is White Raven and I'm here to teach you witchcraft. What I know about witchcraft. From my perspective, which if witchcraft is something that interests you, calling your name, please don't be a stranger. Stick around, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. I am here every Monday teaching you different concoctions, spells, hexes, curses, and smart information in regards to what you need to know as a witch. For all of you that are coming back every single Monday, hi witches, how are you? How's the week? Uh, my week has been actually pretty busy. Pretty busy at work, pretty busy here at home on the days that I'm working on the products for you guys. And hopefully I've been answering all of your questions on your emails, on your comments, and all the messengers. I'm always happy to be here with you guys every single Monday. I look forward for today for the entire week so I can share with you guys stories, spells, concoctions that hopefully will be beneficial for your life. Today's not going to be a different day from any other Monday. I do have for you today a spell and it's mostly a ritual that I did myself when I went through my court cases. I do understand that we have many videos here on court cases and still you guys still request for more, 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 and more. I'm going to share with you guys today something that is different from the norm, okay? So I'm going to give you a big warning because I work with an energy that I'm not going to recommend for you guys unless you guys already have some knowledge of this energy. If you guys have no knowledge of this energy and how to work with this energy, I'm going to warn you right now. The energies that we're going to, we're going to be discussing are Santo and Arisha. So if you do not know anything about neither one, please do not use them. It's a warning. Seriously, you don't have to use them. But if you have any knowledge about these two characters that I'm going to be sharing with you, then by all means, if you want to try it, go for it. Because this is what work for me. Which is from 2004 until 2010, I was in gruesome court cases. Terrible. They broke my heart. It was piercing my heart every day. I don't even know how I went to sleep because which is I was working a regular mall job and I had three court cases in court. Lawyers are extremely expensive and I had lawyers for everything. And if I tell you that this was the most stressful time in my life, that's an understatement. This was just the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. The hardest and most terrible hardship I ever endure until this day. I'm going to share with you what I did in order to become victorious in my court case. Now again, just like I'm telling you, my court case did not last two months. My court case did not last one year. My court case lasted six years. And what I'm trying to tell you with this is, which that court cases take a long time. You please do not expect to do magic and have your court case out of nowhere ended and rule towards you. These things take time. I shared with you some time ago, probably a couple of years ago, a witch talk in which I'm explaining you how you need to work your court case. And I'm going to touch on that before I even go into my spell and my ritual because it's very important. 
based on the emails that I get from you guys, I feel like a lot of people is very confused. And I understand, not everybody research magic the way I do or other people do. We go and we look for magic when you have a really dire situation and we have no other health. We assume that just because we do some spell, everything is going to work perfectly fine and everything is going to work the way we want it. That is not how magic works. And I'm telling you this and it's coming from a love place in my heart. I'm telling you this because I need you to understand how magic works so you understand the results of your work and why does it take such a long time sometimes, okay? Magic is an addition to our life. Magic is going to influence our daily life. Just because we do magic does not mean that we're going to eliminate all the hardship that life brings upon us sometimes. Magic is going to assist us. Magic is going to grab us by the hand and say, I got you. I'm here with you. Let's face this. <sighs> Number one, the first thing that you have to have at home is a shrine using the deities that you're going to use for your court case. You must have a shrine. You must have a little corner in your house. Prepare already with the deities that you're going to be using, ancestors, spirits, angels, saints, orishas, loas, whoever it is that you want to use. But you must have already a corner in your house for you to do all your spells, rituals, for you to put your paperwork from court. You must have a little shrine. It is a must, witches. It is so important. And this little altar, this little shrine does not have to be big. You can choose just a little table with maybe just a candle and maybe just a figurine. And you use that little corner of your room of some place in your house as your shrine. Number two, you must address every single court case as it comes. Meaning, do not address the court case in general. You're going to be receiving motions from the court, court dates. Every time you receive a court document, you work it. Do not do something general for everything. Every single aspect of your court case needs to be worked separately. Listen, which is, this takes a lot of effort. Court cases are not easy. It takes all your effort for you to win them. Number three, every single person in that court case needs to be worked. Your lawyer needs to be worked. Your ex, if you're dealing with your ex, needs to be worked. His lawyer needs to be worked. Your enemies, lawyers need to be worked. Your enemies need to be worked. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, this is general rules of thumbs based on my own experience, which is everybody needs to be worked separately. So in your little altar, in your little room, you're going to have different jobs for everybody. Try to keep your light magic away from your dark magic, okay? So this is going to be a lot of work. You have to actively and proactively work for your court case as a witch. Once you have your shrine with your deities and your, and your setis, your, your, your dead, your ancestors, whoever it is, espíritu, santos, orishas, lo que sea, whatever it is that you need to work. Once you have that, you're also going to make sure that you work every single document that you receive from court. And you're also going to work every person that pertains to your case. Another thing that is very important for me to mention in here today, if you are 100% guilty in your court case, do not ask the universe to set you free. If you were drinking and you went driving and you killed someone, listen, you are guilty. You may want to ask the universe to help you with your sentence and to help you redeem what you've done. But this magic, which is, is not for you to become free of something evil that you have done. If you play, you pay. If you live by the sword, trust me and rest assured, you will die by the sword. So I need to mention this because don't be misunderstanding what magic does for you. Well, I was in my court cases. I have two beautiful females working with me and assisting me. 
These were very powerful witches. One was an espiritista. This is a spiritual path that many Puerto Ricans follow. The other person was a santera, a madrina. But she was also assisting me. I have two very powerful women helping me. They love me. I didn't pay for their services. This is people that was like my family. And they were assisting me. And these were croons. These were elders. These were very wise women. And they knew their craft very, very well. Now, I'm going to share with you guys today something that is not going to make sense to many of you. Uh, if you are Santera, or if you practice Santeria, or si tú practicas Espiritismo, maybe this is something that is not going to resonate. And you're going to say, why, Raven, what are you talking about? That does not make any sense. Listen, I know it does not make any sense for many of you because it doesn't follow the rules, but it worked for me. It helped me out, and I'm going to share it with you. And it's not with a lot of... I'm being really hesitant to share this with you, and this is why I have never shared this with you before until today. Because I use an orisha, a santo, that does not relate to court cases. But that's who I use, and that's who helped me. The santo that helped me was San Lazaro. The orisha that helped me was none other than Babalu Aye. And I I get goosebumps just to even mentioning his name. Which is if you're new into the craft, I'm going to like I don't know how else to warn you. Do not work with neither one of these energies if you do not know anything about them. If you do not have assistance. In my particular case, they help me out. If my Santera and if my Espiritista did something and they came out with these energies to help me, I don't know. But these are the energies that help me out. Now, I tell you right now that if you do not know who Papaluaye is and San Lazaro, do not play with them because these energies are energies of illness. And you disrespect this santo, and if you disrespect this orisha, I cannot tell you the wrath that can come upon you. So, if you do not know anything about that, I tell you, you do not have to use them. You can do what I'm going to tell you to do, okay? I'm sharing this with you because if you practice Espiritismo, and if you practice Santeria, and you know about Babaluaye, and you know about San Lazaro, and you feel like you can work with them towards your court cases, listen, which is, they helped me out. They were fierce, fierce in my court cases. And again, my court cases took about six years to be resolved. So you have to be patient out there, okay? Let's get into the ritual. Okay, witches, so what are we going to need for this ritual? We're going to need a purple candle. We're going to need a green candle. We're gonna need a brown candle. And we're also going to need an orange candle. Another thing that my ladies gave me, particularly the Espiritista gave me, was a little piece of cloth with the colors that we're going to be using. The colors are going to be brown, purple, green, and orange. These are the colors that we're going to be using. Before we go ahead and we do that, we're going to be anointing our candle with friendly judge oil. And this is my own recipe. We are going to be anointing all the candles. Make sure you anoint every single candle witch. If you need this oil witch, I'm going to have this oil in the website. It smells really nice. This is friendly judge. In Spanish, some other people call it El Justo Juez. And I'm going to warn you guys because I'm going to be using a lot of Christian folklore. This is what I did, okay? Espiritismo and Santeria use a lot of Christian uh, folklore, especially Espiritismo, okay? Espiritismo uses a lot of Catholic stuff and Catholic elements. Some of you guys get a little bit squirmish about dealing with 
Christian religion. If this is something that you're not going to like, then do something else or use your own deity. There's nothing wrong with using your own deities. We're going to put our little rag, our little piece of cloth with the four colors that we need, brown, purple, green, and orange. And with your oil, we are going to do a queen cooks. I didn't do back then uh, the queen cooks in my little rag, but I'm going to do it now, okay? Okay, which is, so now that you have your candles anointed with your friendly judge oil and you have your little rag with your four colors anointed with the friendly judge oil as well, you do the queen cooks in here, we're going to light all the candles. Now, which is we're going to be doing a prayer that is called the just judge prayer and this prayer is absolutely 100 percent christian it relates to jesus so i'm going to copy it in the description of the video so you can read it and you can chant it if you want if this is something that you do not want to use because this is completely out of your comfort zone when it comes to witchcraft then witches, you can use any deity you want. I'm going to mention some of the deities that you can use if you do not want to use the fair judge chant. These are the goddesses that you can include in your chant if you do not want to do this Christian folk magic that I'm sharing with you guys. You can do Athena. Definitely Athena. Athena is a goddess of war and wisdom. I see Athena as the, the ultimate judge. So I will be using Athena if I don't want to use this just a judge chant. You can use Demeter. You know, Demeter is a goddess of motherhood and fertility and all that stuff. So if you're fighting something in regards to child support, custody battles, then Demeter is the right goddess for you to invoke. You can also call upon Fortuna and obviously this is if you are having some type of money court cases. Uh, you can also call upon Quan Jean, you can also call upon Justia, Nemesis, Rhiannon and Sekhmet. I mean, the sky is the limit. If you actually work with a particular goddess yourself, then use the goddess that you use. If you're going to be used a god, you can use Anubis, Apollo, you can use Odin, you can use Thor, and you can use Zeus, and the sky is the limit. I mean, you can use any deity that pertains to you, any angel, any ancestor, anybody that you like. Now, which is what are you supposed to do with your little rag once you finish anointing your candles and chanting the Justo West chant? This little rag is going to stay in your little shrine with your candles until you have to go back to court. The day of your court case, you're going to keep this in your hand. And as soon as you walk inside the courtroom, you're going to invoke San Lazaro or Babalu Aye. And this is only if you're able to use these energies. You don't have to use them. This is what I use. If you practice Santeria or if you practice Espiritismo, then by all means, try this out. Otherwise, don't do it, which don't do it. You can call upon the deity that you prefer to use. Personally, if I was not going to use Babaluaye or San Lazaro, I will definitely be using Athena. That will be the goddess that I will be using for my court case. She represents war. Tactical, smart, war, and wisdom. She will be my goddess of preference. Which is, it's very important, again, that you keep a little shrine for all your paperwork. Whenever you receive any type of document from court, you want to put them in the middle of these candles. You want to light your candles and you want to chant your chant. Always keep your little rag within these four candles. Every time you receive something from court, you put it in the middle. You can anoint your candles every single time that you light this candle. You can use the friendly judge oil. And I will have this in my website this coming week. 
you can use seven african powers you can use elegua oil you can use anything you want i am sharing with you what i did these were the colors that i used in my core cases these were the energies that i used in my core cases the most important thing that I want you to get from this spell for this ritual is that you need to have a specific spot in your house for you to do these rituals as they are needed. We have magic to assist us. We are witches. We have this knowledge that other people don't. Use it towards your benefit and be realistic when it comes to your expectations. If you have done something wrong, chances are you're gonna have to pay for it but if you're acting justifiable work your magic witch work your magic get your deities and find a spot in your home to honor them and to ask for their assistance it is always awesome talking to you witches please remember to visit all my social platforms facebook instagram pinterest Please make sure to go and visit my website, White Raven and Witch's Lair. It is very important, which is that you stay very smart. And above all, you must stay so very wicked. This is White Raven over here. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.